Hey YouTube, what's going on? Man, it's freaking been forever, hasn't it? But man, it's good to be back. I haven't said this in a while. Hey everybody, welcome to Clay Makes. If you're new here, I make new clay sculptures every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any new videos. In this video, there's a lot going on. We gotta make the sculpture first, then we gotta make the mold of the sculpture, then we have to make the shell to go around the mold of the sculpture, then we have to take an epoxy resin, pour that in the mold, hope that works because that takes a whole day for it to dry so if that doesn't work then we're screwed then we got to take the smooth cast 300 which is that plastic sort of resin stuff that i use for the mandalorian we're going to cast the other part of the sculpture in that then we got to take the epoxy sculpture put some holes in it put some leds in it then we got to light that thing up then finally we can turn our attention back to the smooth cast other sculpture and paint that up as well and just a real quick thing I am going to be giving a bunch of these away. So if you want to win one of these, stick around to the end and figure out how you can win one. But without further ado, let's get started. <sighs> wow, man, it's good to be back. I haven't said this in a while. Let's first start out with the armature. Since zero isn't very complex, it was just a simple matter of bending one length of wire into the desired shape. Then taking some soft monster clay and bulking out the head and the body before adding more clay and starting to refine the sculpture. These are the tools I made from guitar strings and brass tubes. They're mini rake tools. I think I did a little video on them, I can't really remember. They're used to go over the surface and just smooth everything out, so when I go over the whole thing with mineral spirits to smooth it out and clean it up, it makes it look good. Now using the pasta roller to roll out sheets of clay for the ears, which actually took me more times than I would like to admit to get right. Now I just hold the ears in place to see if I like them. Then I'm going to cast the ears separately to make the mold process just much easier. For the body of Zero, it's just a sheet after all, so I bulked up some kind of body underneath, then I cut out a sheet of clay and laid it over. I think it gave it a good, you know, floating sheet feel. Now for Zero's grave, I didn't want to make the whole thing out of a huge chunk of clay, so I made a base using cardboard and hot glue. And what's great about monster clay is that I can melt it down and pretty much just paint it on. This made the process much faster and gave me a great stone texture all in one go.
Then came the tedious task of making all the roof shingles, one tedious row at a time. Then when I was done, it just looked way too neat and way too clean, so I cut all the shingles out and pulled them up and twisted them at all different kinds of angles. Yes, now comes time for the fun part, molding and casting. For the mold, I use Smooth On Rebound 25 and Rebound 40. Both are just brush on silicone for making, well you guessed it, uh, brush on molds. The first step is to mix them up in equal parts, then lay the first coat down, making sure to get into all the little details. Using a cheap brush is great for this, and the thinner the first layer, the better off you'll be. Then I switched to Rebound 40, basically for the color change and because that's all I could get on such short notice. But for this layer, I used the Thin Vex, which will make the silicone into a thicker paste. Then you can just paint it on like kind of like icing a cake. I repeated this process a few more times, just alternating the layers. Make sure to fill in all the undercuts though, so the plaster shell that you're going to put on later won't get like caught up or hung up on anything. Then it came to the shell of the mold. This is done because it gives the silicone mold a shell to help keep its shape. I'm just using cheap plaster bandages. Simply dip in water to activate the plaster and lay it on the mold. Make sure you plan out in advance where you want the shell to split into two pieces. The shell won't flex basically, so make sure that you can still get it off when you're done. Meaning don't wrap it around any hard corners. 
You can use tin foil here to place on one edge of the mold so that it won't stick to the other. Then after about a day to dry, it's time to pull them off and cut out the sculpture. Make sure to use a new X-Acto blade if possible for this step. The rebound silicone is very strong and is meant for just this specific kind of stretching over and over again, which makes it great for this kind of stuff. Then it's on to casting. For Zero, I cast him in a clear epoxy resin. You'll actually see there that there is now a tube sticking out of the back to let air escape. I tried and tweaked the mold until I was actually ready for the epoxy. Make sure you tip it and roll it around, banging it around to get out any air pockets you can. Then for the gravestone, I use Smooth Cast 300. I actually use this stuff on the Mandalorian sculpture I molded. This stuff is really hard. It sets up in about three to five minutes, so work fast. Halfway through the pour, I placed in a wooden core. This is just to make the cast heavier, and also I don't want to waste so much of this Smooth on or Smooth Cast 300. It's not cheap stuff. You will see in just a few minutes how it goes from a liquid to a solid. Then after we demold everything and clean it up, it's time to add some LEDs to light up zero. For the LEDs, you will see a short leg for negative and a longer leg for positive. I placed the LEDs in such a way that I could connect all the negative legs together and all the positive legs together. Then I could solder them all up using a little bit of flux to help the solder to flow and stick better. Then we add power to positive and to negative, and now we have a glowing zero. Then after attaching the ears, it's time to paint, which was just red for the collar, orange for the nose, and black for the eyes. Then for the grave, I started by painting the whole thing in just a flat black paint. Then I took some gray, and I did a little bit of dry brushing over the whole thing. This is when all the details we put into it earlier really pays off. I did add another layer of almost white paint, because I'm going to go over the whole thing with a black wash, which will really bring down the tones of everything and bring down that white to more of a manageable color.
Man, oh man, nice long video for the return of Claymakes. But you don't care about that. You made it to the end because you want to win one of these. Well, I'm going to be giving one away to the subscribers of the YouTube channel. So just be subscribed, leave a comment on this video, and I'll be picking someone randomly from the comments. It's not going to be the light up one. It's just going to be a normal cast of that one. I feel it's actually a lot better anyways, because zero is just white anyways on there. But I am going to be giving away the light up one as well. So if you want to win that one, just go sign up to my Patreon page. I changed everything over there. So now there's going to be $2, $4, and $6 tiers. If you want to win one of these, just sign up for any of the tiers. The $2 one, it doesn't matter. And we'll be giving away like three or four of them over there just this month alone. And all my other new sculptures that I'm going to be making, I'm going to be just giving them away like crazy over there and on the YouTube channel. So if it's something you're interested in, two bucks, get you in. So this video took a lot longer than normal due to the fact that it took me like three or four weeks just to get the things that I needed to finish the project and the fact that the molds and everything weren't working correctly when I first made them and the fact that the epoxy takes over a day to dry so if that gets messed up I have to start over and it takes a whole other day but in the meantime I was working on another sculpture so that might be ready by this Friday but I'm not sure because the new baby is coming on Tuesday so who knows what's gonna happen but be on the lookout for that video it's coming up soon thank you so much for watching everybody thank you so much for hanging around these couple months while I haven't been here I'm back baby we're pushing hard we're going hard I'll see you all next week